when some seats now this seats mean the location of a seat and you are given some students and this represents the location of that student which means there this there is this zero student at the location 2 and there is this one seat at location 3 there is one seat at location 1 this is one seat at location 5 and it is possible that we have multiple seats on the same location as you can see i have two seats at location 2 i have two seats at location 6 and there is also possible that i have multiple students also at the same location good now uh, you have to just make these students sit on any one of the seat and i know for every student there is for sure one seat now i have to tell the minimum number of moves required to move each student to a seat such that no two students are in the same seat although at same location i have seat but two students cannot occupy the same seat itself they can occupy the same location seat so you have to just simply tell now very basically let's take a very 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 small example i took example okay there is seat at location 9 at location 1 and at location 9 there is seat at location 8 at, at location 2 for so the student it is obvious that the student who is near the seat he should go and sit at that seat the student who is near to that seat he should go and sit at that seat now for the folks who are convinced with me that the student who is near should go and sit at that location okay that is obvious that he will try to go at that go and sit at that location so Aryan, are you saying that i will try to make sure that a student is near to a seat but Aryan, what if i have two students and let's say this is a seat this is a seat s1 let's say seat okay let's say see this is seat here and there's a seat here and both the students are near to this seat but still one of the student should go and sit at the other seat because not both the students s1 and s2 can come and sit at the same at the same seat sheet seat so what we do now it is obvious that you can only make one of the students sit so i will make my s1 sit here and my s2 sit here but you might ask Aryan, why not s2 here and why s1 is here okay so for the folks who are convinced with me that okay s1 will for sure go and sit at its nearest seat and s2 will go and sit at its nearest available seat now okay for the folks who are convinced let's quickly jump on to the problem but folks who are not convinced with me okay are okay i how i how i should make sure what if this s1 is actually far away what if this s, s1 is far away and s2 is actually close to the seat so by greedy approach what you are telling and what it is actually feeling for us also that s2 should come and sit here and then whatsoever seat is remaining s1 should go and sit there i'll say no s1 will always go and try to search for its first seat again from left first person first student will go and search for the first seat next student next seat next student next seat that is what we have to do why Okay, for the folks who are convinced with me okay let's quickly jump on the jump, jump, let's quickly jump on to the statement as in the problem for the folks who are not convinced let's see the proof so i took the exact same example in which my circle represents a seat and my square represents a student so i have this seat here i have this two seats at the same location then i have this seat here and then i have this seat here cool i have one student here i have one student here now you can obviously see that this this student this student student number two is actually close to seat number one but still i am saying that i will make my student one sit on this seat and student two sit on this seat now you might ask why no worries let's see the proof what if what if again let's firstly define the distances so let's define for, for, from the seat one of the student one the distance is x from the seat 1 to the dis like to the student 2 the distance is y the distance of seat 1 from the origin is s1 the distance of seat 2 from origin is s2 now if again uh, just for a random thought um, this distance will be s1 minus x right so this will be s s1 minus x but now the fact is you are saying s2 should come at seat 1 and s1 should come and go to seat 2 
सो एस वन डैश रिप्रेजेंट माई स्टूडेंट सो बाई योर फैक्ट स्टूडेंट टू शुड कम टू सीट वन स्टूडेंट वन शुड गो टू सीट टू इफ दैट इज द केस फॉर श्योर स्टूडेंट टू कमिंग टू सीट वन डिस्टेंस वॉज अ वाई वाई ओके वाई बट स्टूडेंट वन गोज टू सीट टू स्टूडेंट वन गोज टू सीट टू विच मीन्स वॉट इज वॉट इज दिस डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस इज एस टू माइनस दिस डिस्टेंस विच इज एस वन माइनस एक्स सो दिस विल बी एस टू माइनस एस वन माइनस एक्स विच इज एस टू माइनस एस वन प्लस एक्स नाउ इफ आई आस्क वॉट इज द टोटल कॉस्ट फॉर यू इट विल बी वाई वाई प्लस एस टू माइनस एस वन प्लस एस टू माइनस एस वन प्लस एक्स विच इज दिस वैल्यू एस एस माइनस एस वन प्लस वाई माइनस एक्स सॉरी वाई प्लस एक्स बट इफ यू वुड हैव टेकन द अप्रोच वेन योर स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट विल गो टू द फर्स्ट सीट सेकेंड टू द सेकेंड सीट एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट नियर एस सीट नेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट नियर एस सीट नियस्ट अवेलेबल सीट देन वॉट वुड हैव हैपन फॉर श्योर वी कैन इजिली सी दैट first student first seat which means this much distance this is s1 minus this distance which is s1 minus x so it will be s1 sorry so yeah it it is x only it is x only this distance between student 1 and seat 1 is x only so it will be x and if you had have gone around with this it will be s1 minus s1 minus x which will be x only so yeah both will be discrete now for the other distance which means student 2 seat 2 What is this distance? For sure, you have to find this distance. It will be s two minus this distance, which is x plus y, or you can say s one plus y. So it will be s two minus s one plus y, which will be s two minus s one s one minus y. So total distance here will be s x plus s two minus s one minus y, which will be s two minus s one. Plus x minus y, and I know both x and y are distances which are both positive. Thus, x plus y is more than x minus y. Thus, I can easily say that it is all it is always feasible for the nearest student to go to the nearest seat. This is the entire proof for you. Cool. Now, now when you have realized this fact, let's quickly jump to our answer. It simply sort the students, sort the seats, and ultimately make your first student reach to the first seat, which means. Here student is at one, seat at two. Distance is one, answer is one. Here distance zero, answer is zero. Here is the, the the distance is three, answer is three. Here the it is zero. Just add it up, answer is four. That's it. So I sorted my uh, students and seats. Then I went on to my seats, just indexes. Then I took the distance again, absolute distance. Distance is always positive. Absolute distance at the I have taken. And ultimately, keep on adding in the answer, and that's your final answer. But because of sorting, you have taken n log n time, n log n time here, n n log n time here, because both are of same size, and then o of n time here. So it's n log n plus n time which you have taken, and for sure space will be log n because of sorting space which is taken by default. If the interviewer asks you to optimize it, we know in sorting problems when you have to optimize the stuff. And we are actually counting stuff also because we can have same seat at the same location. Then we know we have already seen what a count sort is. If not, go and watch this video for practice of the same count sort. Go and watch this video also. Now, if suppose you have you know what's a, what a count sort is, you simply represent the actual value as a index and the number of times it is occurring as a value of that specific array. So I will make a seat array in which index will be the value which is two and two is occurring twice, so it is a value. Six is a value and it is occurring frequencies will be the value. Same way, student one two three six one two three six occurring one one time, so all of them one one. Now simply the same way we are doing. Earlier we had this array and we were going in at every index, right? Like this. Now we have this array. We'll go on to this, but here non-zero value represents what? Non-zero value represents me. Okay, I have that element. Non-zero value represents me. Okay, I have that element. So whenever you have that element itself, go and consume its frequency. Consume its frequency, and consuming frequency means one time you are getting one pair. Again, if you are confused with all of all of this, sir, go and watch this video. Coming on back, uh, we'll simply make a seat location or a seat frequency array. Same way, student frequency array. Again, defining with the maximum size, maximum element. 
प्लस वन सेम ही मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट प्लस वन राइट नाउ आई विल सिंपली मार्क बोथ द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ सीट एंड स्टूडेंट्स इन माई कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग एरेज देन आई विल इटरेट ऑन ऑल ऑफ माई सीट बट फॉर मी द सीट इज एक्चुअली द इंडेक्सेज and how to know if a seat is actually there or not if its value is non zero so if the value is zero simply continue if the value is non zero only then check for a student who can come and again i want a student who is actually there and to find if a if a student is there or not it it will be a location which is having a value of non zero so if my student frequency is zero keep on moving your j you will stop your j at a location where your student frequency is non zero which means you have a student there if you have a student there which means j represent the actual student i represent the actual seat their frequency the student of frequency and seat location represents their frequency of seat and location cool now uh, when i have got my answer simply make sure decrease both the frequency of seat and frequency of answer and there can be a chance as in this case itself we can see even after i decrease the frequency of my seat it will become one but still i should still remain my i here but because of this for loop i am increasing my i every time so if my seat is still not zero i should decrease my i so that it increases increases it later on which means effectively my i should remain same and should again try for this location again because one is still there one seat is still remaining Cool, and that is again. There's multiple way to implement it. You can just choose any of your ways. Now, uh, that is it. You will simply get the answer. Because of this, you are actually iterating on the like maximum element of the array. Because the array will will be this array size will be the maximum element of the array, and that's what your worst case iteration is. And if you go and look at the constraints, maximum element is also equal to my n. So I can roughly say it is oh, again. Okay, it can be to like 200 also so let's represent that as a k so my complexity will be o of k space also will be o of k but still it is o of 100 as in o of n equal to o of n that is reason it is less than o of n log n so in the smaller when the array like when the actual element value is less then it is good to use count sort now if you are worried about the dry run and stuff go and watch this one video it has dry run of everything cool bye bye take care and again 45k karwa dena before june end mazaa aayega bye bye take care